Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. And in this lesson, we're gonna be looking at how to produce quality djembe tones so you can play the music you wanna play. World Drum Club. So first up is the bass tone. Everybody is familiar with this, but let's go over a few key, uh, a few key components, a few key moves that you wanna make sure you're making. And let's talk about some moves that you wanna avoid making when playing the bass tone. So of course, you're gonna set up for playing position, which means either standing with a strap or seated with the djembe tipped away from you. Never tip the drum towards you. I know a lot of you know this, but I'm just covering all the bases here. So the thing you wanna do is, is, first of all, make sure that the drum is at a comfortable playing height, which means when you relax your arms, your elbows and your, you know, your forearms and your wrists, everything is laying on the drum. It's very comfortable. You're not up like this too high, bending your wrist, and it's not you know, obviously too low, like below your, your thighs, all right? So just like this, a little bit above your thighs and then you're ready to play. So the, with the bass tone, the djembe uses an open or rebounding bass tone technique, not so much like the conga drum, which could be either rebounding or staying on the head. Hand is relaxed. You're gonna move from the elbow. Wrist doesn't do a lot of bending in djembe. So your thumb can be out. Your thumb can also just be relaxed. You don't have to hold your thumb out with any great degree of effort, all right? We wanna save energy, we wanna stay relaxed. So just let your thumb kinda of hang out there. Uh, don't pay any particular attention to it, as long as it's not hitting the edge of the drum, which it's not going to on the bass tone, but for when we get to the other two tones, that's a consideration. But for now, just relaxed like this, and you're gonna strike the drum between the center and the edge. Now there's this sort of myth going around that you have to strike the bass tone in the center. No, that is absolutely incorrect. So do not aim for the center of the drum with your palm. You might wanna aim for the center with your fingertips because that's gonna put your palm somewhere between the center and the edge. But basically, if you think about a kind of donut shape inside the drum, uh, that's where your palm goes. So just like this, or for the other hand, about there. That's all you need to do. Second, you wanna rebound off the head. Don't get stuck on the head. So the bass tone, we're just gonna bounce. We're gonna hit about here. Moving from the elbow, we're gonna be relaxed. Just bouncing off the drum. So try that, alternating hands. Okay, and as you can hear, the sound of the drum is tight. It shouldn't be ringing a lot, it shouldn't be boomy. All right, moving on. Tone number two, open tone, or just tone. For this one, you can start with the bass tone position. You can grab your thumb, drag it back until your palm comes off. Fingers are on the head. You wanna line up your knuckle line, or where your fingers meet your palm, with the edge of the drum. Get that all lined up, like this. So you're not like this. You're not like that. You're just lined up. Should be about a you know, 50, 45, 40 degree angle. In this tone, your thumbs can be flexing away from your palm to keep the side of your thumb from striking the edge. You need to find the position that's most comfortable for you. This is a general rule. It's not a hard and fast rule. Okay, something like that. Uh, fingers are fairly flat. We want the fingers flat, so you might need to engage the muscles in the back of your forearm to pull your fingers up a little bit. We don't want curved fingers for the open tone. We want the fingers functioning basically as one unit. You can hold them together a little bit, pretty flat. And then again, you're gonna bounce off the drum. So let's listen to the open tone. And for practice, I think it's a good idea to come back up to what we call a ready position. Uh, so come back up just for practice to get used to that so you're not sticking. Don't wanna do that, okay? Alternate. All 
All right, coming back up, off the drum quickly, focus the weight of your hand in the lower portion of your fingers. Let's move on. Slap tone, our third and highest tone. The slap is a harmonic of the head. The technique looks similar, or even in some cases, almost identical to the open tone. Various players play the slap in various ways. I had one teacher that played it way out near the edge. Some people like myself like to move on to the drum a little bit. Some people stay, stay in the same position. The key change you're gonna make between the open tone and the slap is you're going to relax. And when you relax, a couple things happen. One, your fingers curve a little bit, right? So we get a little natural curve. The other thing is your fingers might spread a tiny bit. All right, that's fine. You're not trying to hold your fingertips out and make a big, you know, spread palm like that. There's no need to do that. Just relax. Keep your thumb in the, in the outward position so you don't strike it on the edge and move from the elbow, play a slap tone. All right, relaxed. I'm gonna alternate between opens and slaps so you can see that the position is very, very close. All right, and then alternate. Sometimes people have trouble getting sounds to match, so you kind of need to learn, uh, you need to have one hand, let's say your left hand's not really quite doing the same sound as your right. Pay attention to what your right's doing, and try to imitate that in your left. It's just a matter of teaching each side of your body how to make the sounds. When you feel ready, when, you're, when you've practiced each tone separately for a little bit, then start to combine them and, you know, with a metronome, do some basic exercises. And conversely, two at a time, maybe open and slap. And then start to combine all three. Okay, I've got a video that talks about improving your hand drumming techniques. I'll leave a link to that one after this uh, or in the comments. You can also find lots of links to gear, recommended gear, including World Drum Club t-shirts in the link below. So if you like this shirt, I like this shirt. If you like this shirt, click the link below and get one for yourself. All right, I hope this is helpful for you all. Um, let me know if you have any helpful comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a supporter of World Drum Club.